Hey everyone, my name is Multanasia, and today we'll be discussing Fresnel zones and how they interact with some of our wireless products. When dealing with the wireless bridge like the EasyLink, you need to make sure you know the Fresnel zone radius to make sure you have a good connection. A Fresnel zone is a pill-shaped box between a transmitting and receiving antenna. The number of Fresnel zones is infinite, but for the practical use, we only care about the first few zones. For a good connection, the line of sight should be clear, and at least 60% of the first Fresnel zone should be free of any obstructions. If an object is at the border of the first Fresnel zone, it can cause a decrease to the received signal level, also known as fading. Radio transmissions can either reach the receiver directly through a clear line of sight, making the strongest reception, or can be reflected from spatial objects such as buildings and land features, either vertically or horizontally, and assume a deflected path. Reflected waves, depending on the angle of reflection, travel further to reach the receiver and arrive phase shifted at the antenna. Therefore, you must have more than a visual line of sight. You need for the Fresnel zone to be clear or the obstructions will block part of your throughput. You will have a lower rate of throughput if there is an obstruction in this zone. Calculating your Fresnel zones can help avoid obstructions. Usually the antenna should be at a height of 10 feet for every mile it needs to send the signal depending on the frequency. But for the exact Fresnel zone radius calculation, simply use this formula here or click the link in the description. That about covers what you need to know about Fresnel zones when setting up wireless connections. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and check out our other videos or go to Ethoan Academy and start your free network training today.